Hi everyone, welcome back. First day, kids are back in school. Woo! No school for kids in four days. Woo! Okay, so uh, today, traps and post delts for mobility. We're gonna take our ball. We're gonna put it into our trap. The big meaty spot back there. Do these ones. These ones. These ones. Okay. Eight, eight, and eight. Put the ball up in the traps. If it feels like it's not super uncomfortable, find a place it is. Okay. Um, there's lots of areas in your trap that you'll be able to kind of put that ball to be able to find it that really need it. And if it's not hurting or feeling like it's, like it's uncomfortable, then that tissue is not dysfunctional and doesn't need the pressure of the ball. Okay. Our tissues are very good at telling us whenever there's something wrong by hurting when there's pressure. So find some pain, be a glutton for punishment. Okay. Uh, after that, we'll go into post delt. Post delt, we're going to come over to the wall. So what we're looking for, ball going right in the, in the back of the delt here, okay? So don't be confused with the, the lats, the terries, that's under, under the short shoulder, the shoulder, or kind of like almost like the side of the armpit, okay? We want it to be very much on like the top back of the shoulder there, all right? And then as we're, as we're rolling around in there, there's just going to be like a few little spots that get a little bit uncomfortable, okay? Whenever we're doing like dumbbell rows a lot or barbell rows, any kind of pulling when the elbow starts to get high, what's gonna start to happen is our post delt is gonna try and help. Even though it's not a prime mover for the movement, it is going to do a lot of work for us. And it can get jumped up really, really easily and it kind of pulls very oddly on the shoulder. So it kind of gives, can give us some shoulder pain, okay? So um, beat it up a little bit to make that pain go away, all right? Uh, so, Today we've got a hero workout, okay? We're gonna do some strength before it, but uh, prepare to be a hero, okay? So we're gonna start off with just some push-ups. Tempo push-ups. Tempo is three, zero, one, zero. Three seconds down, no pause, one second up, and we're gonna do 12 reps, okay? So find that good position, one, two, three, touch the ground, push back up, all right? We've talked about position of the, the elbows for push-ups before. 45 degrees or closer is good. 45 degrees and higher becomes much harder on the shoulders. If you have cranky shoulders in the least, you want to stay in here. If your shoulders are happy and healthy and everything and you just want more of a challenge, you can do a higher elbow push-up. Just be aware that it's a little harder on the shoulder because you don't have the lat to support the tissue, okay? It's up to you, all right? The second movement is going to be a single leg dumbbell row, okay? You're not gonna row with your leg. You're rowing with your arm still, and you're just only on one leg, okay? So, we're up. We're gonna lower yourself down into that single leg deadlift position, and then dumbbell row from there, okay? So there's no tempo on that guy. You're just trying to move through it. But you'll find if you row too fast, you lose your balance. So the tempo is kind of just built into it. You're trying to move with control, so you don't have to put that back foot down, okay? If you feel like that is just way too difficult to keep that position, and like you're like, well, the workout for me is keeping my balance, then put your back foot up on a wall and press on a wall, okay? And that press against the wall is gonna help engage the core a little bit, and then you can get your row in. Hit that rep range, okay? So, today, we are going to do a hero workout for Sergeant Andrew Hartnett. Uh, his badge number was 4601, and he had 12 years of service with the CPS. Um, he also had 10 years of service with the uh, military police. Uh, so, today, the workout is kind of for him in his honor. Uh, we are doing 12 rounds <coughs> of four, four by four jump squats. So that's gonna be four seconds down, four second hold, and then a jump, okay? 60 reverse single unders. Taylor had posted this workout on the tribe page uh, with just normal single skips. 
So if you want to, you can mix this up however you'd like. If you want to do six rounds where you're doing forward skips, six rounds where you're doing reverse skips, whatever, just please don't do double unders. That is a uh, quick, quick, quick math. That's um, like somewhere around like uh, 720 um, double unders if you do that. And that is just begging for a, a calf or Achilles injury. So um, single unders is fine because you're barely coming off the ground, okay? Um, so 60 forward or reverse single skips, right? And then one complex, okay? <clears throat> so the complex is preferably done with a dumbbell, sorry, a kettlebell, but a dumbbell is just fine. I'm gonna do it with a dumbbell. So it's going to be a swing, a snatch, a clean and press, a squat, and a burpee, okay? So you will do one of those at the end of a round, and the next round, you'll do the other side, okay? So you are doing six rounds on each side. Yes, okay? So uh, just try and move through this workout, guys. Thing to always remember whenever we're doing a hero workout is as much as we like to do things fast and for time, think about what it's for. It's for honoring someone who kind of gave their life, their life uh, trying to protect us and do their job. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's try and honor him. All right, um, that's all for today, you guys. Have a good workout. Stay happy, stay healthy, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.